Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Planning Physics. Today we are here with a new and important topic how we can create or generate S curve or histogram for our project in Excel by using the data which, which we have extracted from Primavera Physics project, which are the quantities, the manners, and cost. I will show you by using the manners, and then you can follow the same procedure. You can create with the quantity and with the cost as well. In my previous videos, I have already explained how we can extract the sheets from Primavera to Excel by seeing the daily plan, weekly plan or monthly plan. I have already opened my Excel sheets which is first is for the Activity, resource and role assignment, manors, and I have already opened a sample of S curve which we are using, and uh, the portfolio management professionals are also preferring this S curve format, and we are also using that format on our projects. So, first of all, we will do to how we can pick the data from that sheet which we have extracted from our Primogra P6 software. First of all, we will see the project start date is 15th of July to 6th October is finished. Then there is two methods to see the data. One is you can see the resource if you have assigned a resource mason labor like that if you have assigned the only manners instead of assigning the individual resource then you can did not hide the resources you can if you want to pick the data just hide these three columns which we don't need or delete it and then this is these rows are cumulatives for the below mentioned activities like that highlight these fields These are the cumulative for that ones and we just delete it because we don't need this one. If you want to pick these cumulatives then you can also use the formula from it but we will use the individual manners because of you can understand in detail. This is and then we just go to the end date. 5th of October we highlight this one as a mark and then come back here we will put here the formula of AutoSum you can see here AutoSum formula we want from here to the end because we have to drag that formula up to end just drag this formula to the end date up to here. Now the total manners are here for the daily. Now we can pick that data from 22nd of July. Before 22nd of July, there are no manners are used. If you are extracting the sheet by using the filter, then you can see the start and end dates with the zero manners. Now this one. Copy this data and go to the excel sheet here you can just start from 22nd of july as we mentioned there and these special values the values are here and then put zero value at the start i have already put this date by 15th of july and then forward now we can end this date up to 6th October. We will delete other all because our project start and finish date is freezed. We delete other tabs and then sixth of October. Now if you want to see here 
you can also format this month of July with using a merge center up to 31st of July you can merge like that then July 21st and then August you can merge this as well and from 1st of August to 31st of August merge again and put the date here first and 08 2021 like that you can format your move forward because due to the time shortage we will just define only the critical things here and at the end here is also zero manners so go to the startup startup here the man hours is the first of all you put here is equal to zero man hours and then move forward you put the formula is equal to this one plus this one okay and drag to this formula to the end now you can see the your cumulative man hours here And how we can calculate the percentage per day is equal to per day man hours divided by cumulative man hours which are at the end these man hours this will calculate your today's values if there is no percentage sign you can use it by this one and put it here and then now copy that formula and paste special formula here and select this one at the last one cumulative man hours for the project this one enter and then we will modify that formula with dollar sign put dollar sign here and then put dollar sign here enter it and then drag that formula up to the end you can see here the daily plant man hours now for the plant man hours curve generation we will put here the same formula like above is equal to this one enter and then is equal to this one plus the two days previous one and two days then drag that formula up to end if the cumulative value is 100% then your formula and values are working correctly you can see here 100% 100% and you can see your plant curve is has been generated by using that formula and this is plant value when whenever you will update that project by using this one and zoom in here if you want to put your earn value suppose that here your earn value is zero for that day or 0 0.01 enter it and here the same will be enter and then we just put for 10 to 20 days like that and is equal to this one plus this one enter and this curve you just put the formula up to where you have updated your progress only now you can see here your curve is here because the progress is too low that's why you cannot see the value we can increase our value here 0 0.10 and then copy this all value to here now you can see your curves is going like that if you change here to 0 
value now you can see here your curve is going up this is your earned value i am just explaining here to show you how you can manage it now you can see your earned value curve is here and you can also write here in the title of this one you can change these color scheme this color scheme by clicking this one formatting excel formatting or the right click on here format here format data series you can then if you want to change the fill pattern something else you can change from here you can change the writing as well you can change the here you can write your project name as well and after the editing these all things you have to hide these two because everybody don't need to know that your manors are cost just we will see only the percentages only and here are the progress percentage if you want to zoom in zoom out font size font color anything you can change by clicking on it and then change from here you can change this writing color each and everything these bars hide these all formatting you can change easily and i will also share this sample in my video description and later on if you want to see only the curve then you copy this curve and this is called level one summary paste here this curve and then we will manage it within the that limited did that you can see and print easily on one page like that if you want to prepare a weekly you can also prepare the weekly s curve or histogram if you want to prepare monthly you can prepare by using the same method you can see here you can also change you can write here your company name instead of planning b6 you are project name whatever the client requirement project progress histogram s curve something else you can write here you can see the all values are here you can also format these dates if you want to see say day one month one week one you can manage with the same method this is how you can prepare your s curve by using the data from the primavera in excel and this is the special project management requirement and every client is wants to see the histogram and tasker hope you will understand how to prepare or create a tasker or histogram for the project please share subscribe like and comment on our channel thanks for watching allah hafiz